when we have two sets of data which are correlated and we can draw a scatter diagram which clearly shows the trend then it's useful to be able to find the equation of the line of best fit the line which in some sense best describes that trend if we look at this data when we highlight it we can go to insert and plot the scatter diagram so scatter the top left and we see there the picture of how these points are distributed and there's a nice upward trend and we're expecting a straight line something like this to find the equation of the line we go to layout and trend line and if we go for linear trend line which is a, gives us a straight one then we get exactly that the best straight line and that looks quite reasonable however what we would normally like is not just the line but its equation so that we can use this to predict values of y from a particular value of x and to get the equation when we go to layout and trend line we have to choose one of the options from the bottom and if we do that we need this one right at the bottom display equation on chart the linear uh, best line is the default one rather than a curve although Excel can do all sorts of curves but linear is the default one which is what we want so we can leave that alone but we must tick in this box to display the equation and if we now close there is the equation y equals 0.8649x so 0.8649 is the gradient plus 3.5135 so if I wanted to make a prediction of the value of y when x equals 2 for example which wasn't in my original data set I would put x equals 2 in here and I could work out my estimated value of y just a little bit above 5 so that's the equation of the line of best fit or sometimes called the regression line of y on x okay Marie, so let's have a look at this one so solve x plus 2x equals 12 so what do you think you do first okay well i want x on its own so i would put x 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on. Well done. <laughs>